Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Williams and many of you know me as Coach Michelle coming to you live from the ATL. Today's video is about regulated states. Are you in a regulated state? It's very important to find out guys because what I have found is that quite a few of you, unfortunately, quite a few of you are working as a home care agency in a regulated state without your home care license or permit. Guys, that's a no-no. So you got to change that right away. Side note, don't get scared. If you are an individual and you are soliciting clients for clients and you are going out providing the service yourself, you're rendering the care in the home, this video is not for you. This video is if you are getting clients and you're sending someone else out, if you're doing that, that's a no-no. That means you are working as a home care agency. So you don't want to do that if you're in a regulated state, right? So there are some states that are non-regulated. For those of you that are in a non-regulated state, you can get your business up and running in 30 days if you're serious about what you're doing. Non-regulated states, guys, they don't play. You have to get your license. So how do you do that? Get your pen and paper. I'll wait. Okay, pen and paper. So first thing you need to do is find out if you're in a regulated state. And you can do that by Googling. Just simply type in whatever state you're in. Say you type in Texas Home Care Licensure Application. A lot is going to pop up. Everybody at the top, guys, is going to be a home care consultancy firm, some type of firm that will help you start and grow your business. That's not what I want you to click on. What I want you, anytime you see an AD, the word ad next to it, guess what? That's a home care consultancy firm. That's not where I'm sending you at this point. Later, if you decide to hire my company, if you hire someone else, that's fine, but I want you to get your own understanding. You know, it's, it's, it's just like anything else. You've got to get your own understanding. Read the scripture for yourself. Get your own understanding, right? So you type it in and so you, all of the ads are going to come up at the top. You're going to scroll past those and you're going to pick the site that talks about the licensure. Most of the time, it's going to be an, an official government site. So it's going to end in .gov. And when you click on it, you're going to see an official government seal. Not 100% of the time, but most of the time. And when you get on the site, you're going to follow the links. It's very user-friendly. You're going to go where it says license. You're going to go, or you're going to go where it says um, um, uh, healthcare facility regulations. If you're in Georgia, you're going to go where it says um uh, community-based programs, even though majority of the time, home-based, community-based, anything like that is going to be talking about Medicaid. However, it differs in some states, right? So that's why you got to really get a clear understanding of your state. So you would just type in, you know, Texas home care licensure application, in Texas, I believe, if I remember correctly, I think it's called home care organization, right? So, and that's another thing to take away, nugget to take away from this, is that not every single state calls it home care. Some states may call it home care um, organization, which I think is Texas. Um, Georgia calls it a private home care provider. Um, um, New Jersey calls it, uh, I think, a home care firm or something like that. So I just want you guys to really, you know, do your due diligence so you can understand a different te terminology as well. As a whole, we say private duty, non-skilled, you know, home care agency. However, it differs in some state. So I just want to mention that. So when you go to your state's website and it doesn't say home care, it says something else. I don't want you to be alarmed because you will be in the right place. Once you get to the, to the website that governs and gives out the licenses, you look for the application, right? So you wanna understand the application. Most importantly, guys, you wanna look for that checklist or um, anything that tells you 
or cheat sheet, a fact sheet, anything that will actually give you the information that you need quick, meaning to see if you qualify. Because some states, not all states, not all states, some states do have specific qualifications, but not all. And those specific qualifications can vary depending on the type of agency, the type of services that you are looking to offer in your business. Example, Florida. Florida has multiple options, right? So Florida has a home home, home makeover. What is it called? Um, it's a uh, home make, companion homemaker. Companion homemaker. Um, and you can register for that. It's very inexpensive, less than $100. You cannot do personal care, right? They have um, a nurse registry which I don't recommend, but they do have a nurse registry. And then they have a non-skilled, this is a good point, they have a non-skilled home health license, and then they have the traditional home health license. So if you're looking in the state of Florida on ACA, you're probably like, hey, I don't see anything that says home care. It's called non-skilled home health in Florida. So that's why you really got to do your due diligence or hire someone if you just say, this is too much for me. But I want each and every one of you to understand the rules and regulations and what that process looks like. So you're going to continue, right? So you Googled, you found the website. That's not an ad. It's not a consultancy firm. It's your um, um, government site, right? So .gov. You look you scroll through, you're going to find where it talks about licenses. It's going to talk about permits or it's going to talk about rules and regulations. And some of them have a whole bunch. They may govern hospitals, nursing homes, home health, hospice, all of this. You're going to keep looking until you find the type of agency you want to open. For some reason, if you can't find it, there's going to be a phone number. Usually it's over on the right hand side or maybe at the very bottom call them, ask them, and you got to be really nice. Hi, so-and-so, this, you know, I, I'm on your website. That's key because they know you're looking. I'm on your website and I'm trying to find the information for starting an agency. Can you please tell me what to click on? They will help you. A lot of times they're so busy, you get someone and you're like, oh, mm, she must not be having a nice day. No, they want you to be doing your due diligence. So just say, I'm on your website. Right. And so once you find out where you need to be, then I want you to look at the rules and regulations, the rules and regulations. That's the bread and butter, guys. The, that, that's the law. The rules and regulations, the law. You got to adhere to the rules and regulations. And guess what else you have to do with the rules and regulations? You have to write policies. You have to write policies for your organ organization based on the rules and regulations. In most states, you have to submit them with your application. Some states, you submit your application and then they'll request your policies and procedures. Some states will come out to your home to do the survey or your office, if you have an in-home office, out, whatever, to do it. And side note, you don't have to have an office outside of your home in most states. There's only a few states that require you to have an office outside of your home. So a lot of people have come to me over the last few years paying for an office for a year, you know, six months up to a year while they're waiting for their license. And guess what? They never needed an office. It was money being wasted that could have been allocated towards marketing their business. So not every single person that gives you information is giving you the right information. That's why you have to equip yourself, empower yourself to at least have working knowledge of what it is you are about to embark upon. Just don't go blindly and say, oh, whatever you say, I'm going to do it. And that's including, you know, with me, even though I know my stuff, but you still want to have a working understanding of what I'm saying. That's why in my VIP hybrid program, I teach, I have lessons in there. I go, um, I do live training videos in there. So I educate my people. I take them to the water. I teach them how to fish. So you want to get your own understanding before you invest in anybody's business, before you trust anybody, because ultimately it's just like your tax return. You can pay somebody to uh, uh, um, um, do your taxes, but guess what? You have to sign them. 
So you are ultimately responsible. And that's another story, another video. <laughs> I have had many lessons in business, which is one of the reasons why I share so much with you guys here on YouTube and also on my Facebook channel at I Am Coach Michelle, because I don't want you guys to make the mistakes that I've made. So let's get back to the regulations. So you're going to find the regulations. You're going to um, understand them because it's the law that you have to adhere to. And then you're going to write your policies and procedures based on the rules and regulations. And that's how you're going to operate your business on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. So just to give you an idea, because you may be thinking, is my state regulated? You can find out online, but some of the states, the most popular states that I've worked in, so I'm going to rattle them off. So non-regulated states, Alabama, Arkansas, um, Michigan, Missouri, um, those are um, Arizona. So those are just to name a few, to name a few regulated states, um, Florida, California, New York. New York is New York has a moratorium right now, and it takes like 15 months, 12 to 15 months to get licensed when they are accepting applications for personal care. If you want to do Homemaker Companion in New York, you could do that right now. No problem. It's not regulated. Um, Georgia, New Jersey, Connecticut, um, and a whole bunch of other states, right? So um, Louisiana is not regulated. So there's a whole bunch, Mississippi, not regulated. So there's a whole bunch of states that Tennessee regulated. So there's a whole bunch of states that I could go on and on and on and on, but I'm just trying to give you guys some examples, right? And, and, and um, let's see. So that's what I want you guys to do. Do your due diligence, get your facts together, get a clear working understanding and... Go into this with your eyes open. Go into this with your eyes open. So this is Coach Michelle coming to you live from ATL. Please put your comments below. Let me know what questions you have that you would like for me to do a video on. And um, my website is michelleleellis.com, michelleleellis.com. And on Facebook, I'm at at I am Coach Michelle, Michelle with one L. I would love to um, assist you guys if you are looking for someone to hold your hand, mentor you, and help you through this process. Take care, guys. God bless.